Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads uh, a bullet traveling at uh, 1300 feet per second strikes uh, the 10 pounds wounded block and exits the other side at uh, 50 feet per second as uh, shown. Determine the speed uh, of the block just after the bullet exits the block and also determine how far the block slides before it stops. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the surface is 0.5. This problem is coming from an engineering mechanics and dynamics of 14th edition by Alassi Kibela. So let's say we have uh, this is the weight of um, the, the block. Let's call it block. So we say W uh, B. Okay, we call this B. This is a um, wooden block, so let's call it WB. Okay. And of course, we do have the normal force, like so. And we do have the friction, like so. So this is our kinetic friction. And this is our normal force. All right. And we have this a bullet there. Of course, considering the period, which is very short, uh, we have a bullet that goes through the wooden block and then later on it comes out. So in finding the velocity of the block, so I'll call this the first state we have the second state and the third state. So using the conservation of momentum, summation of the masses times velocity in the first state times summation of the masses times velocity in the second state. So let's call this of course B and this one WB. All right, so we have three states. And uh, here we've been asked to determine the speed of the block just after the bullet comes out. Okay. So let's say here, state one, again, state one to state two. This is one of the ways and not the only way. There are a lot of ways of solving this. So we want to solve it in steps, step one to step two. So we have um, the mass of the bullet times the velocity of the bullet in state one, plus the mass of the wooden block, times the velocity of the wooden block in state one, and this is going to be equal to the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the wooden block, summed up together, times V2. All right, so what is the mass here? We have 0 0.03 divided by 32.2. Uh, 32.2 feet per second squared is the acceleration, uh, is the acceleration uh, due to gravity. Okay, great. All right, so there we go. So times VB. And VB here, we are looking at the horizontal component. So we'll have, uh, we are interested in this component. Okay, so we have this component here like this. And we do have this component. We also have this component here. And we have this component there like that. Okay, let me use another color there. A blue. So we have this component there. Uh, we have this component there. And then we have also this component there like so. So let's label them. So this one becomes uh, 1300 uh, by 12 divided by 13 then this one is 1300 
uh, by uh, 5 divided by 13. This one is 50 by 3 divided by 5. And this one is 50 by 4 divided by 5. Okay. <coughs> All right, so there we go. So the horizontal component, we are saying this is 1300 uh, by 12 divided by 13. Then we have plus the wooden block 10 divided by 32.2. Uh, in fact, this one is initially at rest, so there's no need of adding it. So this part here is zero. Okay, because VWB1 is equal to zero, right? It is at rest. All right, we are assuming this is at rest. It is not moving. All right, so this is just going to be equal to 0 0.03 plus 10 divided by 32.2 times V2. Okay, so let's work out V2. Um, V2, this is uh, the velocity of both the bullet and uh, the wooden block. So this just becomes, I think there are some things we can cancel out. We can get rid of this and this. And then we have 0.03 by 1300 by 4 divided by 13 uh, divided by 10, 0, 3. This gives us a 3.5892 uh, feet per second. This is bullet. This is bullet plus a wooden block. Okay. And this velocity is in this direction. It is in the horizontal. So we found this. Of course, this is not what we want to find. Uh, we want to find just the velocity of the block when the bullet exits the block. So let's move to stage two, stage two to stage three. Right. So there we go. Uh, what do we have there? So there we have uh, M b plus m w b they are together okay times v2 and this is equal to m b alone by v b3 right plus m w b by a, a this three instead three <coughs> So this becomes 10.03 when we sum it up, divided by this acceleration due to gravity. And then we do have the horizontal velocity here, which we just calculated. We can plug it directly there. And then there we go. Um, MB, it is 0 0.03, 32.2, VB3. Um, VB3 for the bullet is a 50 horizontal component uh, by 4 over 5. Then plus 10 divided by 32.2. Then times VWB, this is the velocity in state 3. Then therefore, this velocity in state 3 is just going to be equal to um <clears throat> let's cancel out what we can cancel out this this and this so we have 10.03 by 3.5892 uh, minus 0 0.03 by 550 by 4 divided by 5 okay then this divided by 10 so we have a three, uh, we have a three point 
4799 which is just 3.8 okay this is 3.8 feet per second is in this direction this is just for the wooden block alone okay just wooden block alone only alone wooden block only okay so we have found this in state number three but the follow-up question is to determine how far the block moves let's continue let's continue so we want we now want to calculate how far the block slides before it stops so we do have the friction here which is mu k n and this is just 0.5 n all right and we know that our n here our n here summation of forces in the y is just equal to w in this state here just equal to w wb which is equal to uh, 10 pounds okay using uh, the princi principle using the principle of work and energy using the principle of work and energy um, we are going to say we are starting from state 3 state 3 the bullet has come out already but this block still has some velocity so say t3 okay uh, plus summation of the work done okay from 3 to 4 4 it is when it stops so we are saying this block maybe stops up to somewhere there okay state 4 okay it stops in state 4 okay um and this is just going to be equal to uh, at state 4 uh, then this is equal to just t4 okay this is equal to um, all right so t4 we are saying t4 this is where the kinetic energy at t4 is equal to zero or the block itself will have come to rest right so we can simply say um t here is just equal to half m v squared and our u here is just equal to fkd which is equal to um 0.5 uh n d okay all right so let's work it out so here we have half uh m so i just create a bit of a boundary here so i have a bit of space we just do this we do this like so and uh, like so all right okay there we go like so like so all right there we go so here we have um m w b okay m w b uh, times v w b let me write a bit bigger text half m w b v w b okay this is in state 3 squared plus 
so this is minus because it's, it's, it's in the opposite direction so we have 0 0.5 no I just say mu k mu k times n times d then this is equal to 0 therefore this just becomes half uh, by 10 10 divided by 32.2 okay times v48 uh, squared minus 0.5 uh, n uh, n there is just a 10 okay this is a 10 um 0.5 by 10 by d is equal to 0 therefore making this subject of the formula our d is just going to be equal to uh, 0 0.5 by 10 divided by 32.2 times 3.48 squared all right divided by 0 0.5 by 10 like so this gives us a 0 point uh, 3.761 feet okay let's check it out again those cancels out so 10 divided by 32.2 by 3.48 squared divided by 10 3761 so this is how much uh the um the block moves okay this is from state three to four okay so this is how much the block moves uh, from state three to four let me just write this properly so our d here it is from three to four and this is equal to zero point three seven uh, six one fit all right i guess this is about it we have found the velocity we found the velocity over uh, the block uh, we have found also the distance that the block moves of course to the right from state three to four so I hope this particular video was helpful and if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and liking my channel. Bye-bye and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.